before I was on television. And he's got a heart of gold, and we just sit around, we talk our sh we have fun. We celebrated our birthdays with family and friends the other day because COVID got in the way. Um, if you see me posting, I'm not f***ing him. If you see me on live with him, I'm not f***ing him. The, I've learned, as Shamar has learned, we both keep our relationship sh off the internet. And I cry to him. He don't cry to me, but he will talk to me. I am half black <laughs> and I am half white. But I am proud to be black, but I am also proud to be white. I understand what it is to be treated like a when I don't have my fame and when I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time and nobody knows who I am, then I'm just a on the street. I've been thrown down on the sidewalk in my lifetime. I understand what it is. I haven't gone through the Floyd situation. I have not gone through that, but I know what it is. But I'm not going to denounce the other side of me because I'm looking at humanity. I'm looking at, I'm looking at humanity. And my mother, who's white, who just passed, you know, sorry for your loss. I appreciate that. I lost my best friend. But my mama, if she didn't think outside the box, I wouldn't have life. Okay, this is a white from Boston in the 60s. That was a very racially mm -hmm. divided time. And she thought outside of the box and she met my daddy and she made me. So without my mother thinking outside the box, I wouldn't have life. And now that I have this life, I can't denounce because there is good and bad on all sides. Black, white, green, and yellow. There is good and bad on all sides. I understand that I am brown. I understand that I am black. I understand that I am Okay, but I am not going to denounce my mama. And if my mama was still alive, she'd say, baby, go out there and make a change. Go out there and spread positivity. Go out there and tell the truth. And I'm going to tell the truth about the travesties that are going to happen. But I'm also going to try to create, uh, give optimism, hope. Because if we that's don't have optimism and hope, then what the f are we doing? Then there's no tomorrow. And that's what it's about. And so to the person that asked me earlier, what is he doing? Da, 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 when I was happily showing you guys my personalized signatures, which I hounded my friend for, um, I wasn't going to say all of that because it's not my place. Just know that not every act of humanity or humanitarianism, humanitarianism, humanitarianism. Yeah, mm -hmm, that we've it's not, we've bit, been drinking, yeah, is not, bit. doesn't have to be showboated for the world. It doesn't have to be posted. It doesn't have to be celebrated. It doesn't have to be talked about. The ones that are intentionally thrown in your face are the ones that have disingenuous intent. And I know this man. I know his heart. He knows me. He knows my heart. Um, we know each other in ways that you guys as viewers and fans of both of us individually and collectively don't, right? Because we sit here and we have these heartfelt, tearful conversations just about life in general. And... It's not my place to say what he plans to do or not to do, whether he plans to suit up as an LAPD officer or not. Just know that he's, I was here. I, I witnessed him reach out to his peers and to the people he works with to say, hey, this is a marked uniform and I've got to do my part. How can we come together? How can we tell this story? We can't sweep it under the rug. Um, it's happening. It has been happening. And I have a responsibility to make sure that I don't just get on this television and play Hondo and act as if because I'm biracial, because I'm a light skinned because I'm a sex symbol, because I'm this or that, that this isn't the reality and this isn't the state of our nation at the moment because it, it absolutely is. And so I just, I love to debunk all of these superficial rumors about some of my A-list celebrity friends, real friends, like I, sa I said, Shamar sits here and talks to my son and they play basketball and he's encouraging him and you guys met Big Keith just now on the live and their son who's now top 50 in the f***ing country and they're encouraging my son. I'm just blessed. That's why I went live was to just say I'm blessed to have people like this in my life. I'm blessed that as a result of my character, my heart, my um, loyalty to my friends that have been, Shamar's like family. He's met my mother, met my father, met my brother, hasn't met my sister yet. Probably I'll never let him. Um, but <laughs> he knows them. He knows where I come from, right? And so at the end of the day, as a result of that, that is being bestowed upon my black son. And thank you. I just gave Shamara a hug and thanked him. I gave Keith a hug and thanked him. I gave Keith's mom a hug and thanked her because this is what our young kings need. I'm going to do whatever I can, yo. All right. Maybe you don't know me except what you see on TV, but I'm going to do whatever I can to spread the truth, the hard truth, the hard truth. And uh, it's not a pretty world right now, but 
but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get with so CBS. I'm gonna get with Sony. I'm gonna get with the writers, uh, and I'm gonna tell them. And 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 it's predominantly white writers. We need more black writers. Now I'm gonna get with them and say, look, the only way you can send a true message is to have a, a true representation of what's going on in the world. I can't fix it, y'all. But with what I do on the screen, you'll see going forward. I'm gonna do everything in my power to send a true message. All right, to tell to to, to tell the truth about what's really going on. Um, again, I don't know how to fix it, but I if I can at least tell the truth and start a debate. If if I can make people uncomfortable, if I can make people hopeful, um, then then that's what I need to do. It, it ain't about me. It's bigger than me. It's bigger than Moniz. It's, it's bigger than all of us. What's happening right now is bigger than all of us. But do not start dividing yourself. It's, it, right. Do not just pick a side. Like there's good black, there's bad black, there's good white, there's black, bad white. There's good cops, there's bad cops, and there's some f***ed up cops. I, I'm, I'm sitting there watching the news every day. Some of these cops are up and I'm like how can I go out there and say some cops are good when we just keep seeing images of bad cops but please believe there are good cops out there there are good people out there, there and we just talked about this on my live blind loyalty is almost just as dangerous as ignorance as as miseducation just citing blindly um, is is not helpful the the power knowledge is power you guys have got to educate yourselves again like I said, it, I can post all day. He could post all day. We could go live all day, every day. Ultimately, the responsibility is up to each and every one of us individually to make sure that we've educated ourselves, that we are loving each other, that we are supporting each other, that we are surrounding ourselves with moments like these, whoever it is. I have non-famous friends, and we do the same and I go live with those same women, those same men who love my son, who love me, who know my family, who know my background, and they are of all different races, all different walks of life. My mother and father, <clears throat> my mother, my mother, my father's name, he passed two months before my mother. He passed in November, uh, November, December. We buried him in early January. My mother passed in February, February 8th. Um, my mother's white, my father's black, and they named me Shamar. My father's name is Sherrod, S-H-E-R-R-O-D. My mother's name is Marilyn, and back in the late 60s, I was born in 70, I just turned 50, they said, let's blend our names. So it was the S-H-E -S -H -E from Sherrod and the M-A-R from Marilyn, so it was she, Mar. That's how I got my name, and the reason they did that is they want you to understand, we want this child to understand that he is white, that he is black, but he's the product of both sides that aren't supposed to come together, but did come together in a, in a, in a, in a, in a form of harmony. So if you look up my name in the Webster's Dictionary, it don't mean but I like to believe that my name means harmony. And so my mother taught me, don't worry about being white, don't worry about being black, but understand both sides, understand your history, understand your culture. Just go out there and be Shamar Franklin Moore. But the world will treat you, some will treat you like a human, and a lot will treat you like a At the end of the day, my skin is brown, my skin, so I'm a black man. I know that I'm a black man, but I cannot denounce the white side of me. Now with what's going on today, I've lived my entire life seeing color. You can't help but see color, but I don't judge by color. I judge by character. Let me say that again. I see color. I'm not blind, but I don't judge by color because I don't want people to judge me just by my brown. I want them to judge me by my character. So I see color, but I refuse to judge by color. I judge by the character, okay? And that's it. And so if we take the time to stop and judge by the character before we judge, then we've come a long way. We're just not doing that right now. Not civilians, not cops, none of that. So I'm conscious. I'm conscious. He woke. So with that, Whoa. with that, we woke. I'm out. We woke. Say what? We woke. So yeah, it was a great day. It was a great day today, you guys. Full of love, full of positivity, full of good vibes. And I wish love and peace and prosperity and health and wealth and positivity for each and every one of you guys. I'm going to get out of here. I got to get home. I got some work to do. Um, but yeah, I was just excited about my little... <laughs> my little signatures i didn't know it's gonna turn into all of this um but yeah love you guys why won't my thing end